very warm welcome to our teaching uh, this year, which is teaching 103. And the theme uh, we, uh, I have chosen is a clarion call to be an inviting cell member. Eleven years ago, on 1st of September 2008, I commenced my ministry here at Holy Innocence. I came in fear and trepidation. Way, way back in June, I thought to renew my commitment of serving the parish by going on retreat in September. And as a scriptural text for my meditation, I chose the narrative, the account of Jesus washing of the feet, found only in the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 1 to 15. Jesus' action was extraordinary because of its timing and occasion, and presumably the fact that he had never done anything like this before. It is a parable in action of what the Christian gospel is all about, namely about service, serving. Though we are not explicitly told that Jesus served, but we are allowed to see him serving. I wish to share with you, my dear cell members, the upshot of my retreat by outlining John's four characteristics of service as embodied in John's account of Jesus washing of the feet. And I'm going to concentrate, I'm going to concentrate on five uh, verses. Verses one, two, four, five, and 15. I quote verses one, two, four, and five. I read from the text. Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end during supper. He laid aside his outer garments and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. Now, let us look at these four characteristics, characteristics of, of um, service. First, um, the first characteristic is service is deliberate, intentional, and conscious choice, option, or preference. That's the first characteristic. The second characteristic is service is to the end. Jesus served his own right up to the moment he was about to be taken from them and to the utmost or to the greatest extent possible. Three, third characteristic. Service has time. We read in the text, before the feast of the Passover and also occasion during supper. Fourth characteristic, service is demonstrated, shown by specific action. 
Let us now focus on verse 15. I read verse 15. I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. What does the word example mean in this text? The text in Greek is hopodeigma, which means a model, a pattern. And uh, it is an attitude. It's not just an attitude or a way of thinking, but a repeated and continual action, a lifestyle. Christ's action is indeed a pattern of behavior for his disciples to follow. My dear friends, we have just started a new pastoral year here at Holy Innocence, a journey with plethora of initiatives open to different groups of people at various levels on their faith journey. Now, these are the questions I want you actually to address. How can you, as a cell member, serve the parish throughout this year? First question. Second. Are you continually inviting to these initiatives disengaged members in our parish or others who are no longer within the confines, the boundaries of the church? Three, are you only welcoming as long as people get themselves across the Holy Innocent Threshold? And finally, are you repeatedly failing to take your welcome outside the church's confines boundaries? God sent his only son to invite us all into a relationship. And so to be like God is to be a cell member who invites, who extends an invitation. God bless you. Have a good meeting. Thank you.